Well, welcome back, Slater, to join us on the show tomorrow night. Our pal Cliff Young will be back to break down new research when it comes to how everybody's moving over to threads from Twitter, plus Alex Thompson from Axios here on the show. But now let's get to the third block, and we start with a rather strange fundraising event involving one of President Biden's challengers for the 2024 Democratic nomination. We, of course, are talking about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. On average, Kennedy is polling at about 15 percent to President Biden's 64 percent. And as he tries to drum up more support, He's holding a host of campaign rallies, town halls, and fundraisers. One of the latest ones was held on the Upper East Side of New York City, but according to Page Six, one of the latest ones kind of went off the rails. He said the dinner, quote, exploded in a war of words and farting. And sadly, there's no video to back that up, only the account of journalists who were in attendance. So in the interest of reenacting the entire scenario as accurately as possible, Let's bring in Final Five producer Loretto Cruz, who's live from the control room tonight. Loretto, good evening, sir. Good evening to you, Jim. Again, this is all according to outlet page six. And in the absence of video, I will be narrating, and mm -hmm. Jim will be providing acting assistance to make sure we get the point across. Let's now, do this it. tale began somewhat innocuously with those in attendance asking Kennedy about his stance on certain issues. Okay. But the dinner had been going on for a while, and drinks were reportedly flowing in abundance. So one guest asked Kennedy about the environment. And that's when Page Six reports columnist Doug Deckard, the host of the event, interjected, reportedly becoming enraged and screaming at the top of his lungs, quote, the climate hoax. Meanwhile, art critic Anthony Hayden Guest was reportedly sleeping happily for most of the dinner, but was roused by the abrupt rumpus. Page six says he suddenly opened his eyes and denounced Deckert by saying, quote, You miserable blob! Shut up, replied Hayden Guest, telling the crowd he was not asleep. He was just thinking. Deckert continued to, quote, scream wildly about climate change, the scam, while Hayden Guest continued yelling, calling Deckert, quote, Effing insane! Insignificant! Oh, we lost the music. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's when page six says it seems Deckert sensed a need for a change in rhetoric, or he, quote, Let rip a loud, oh, is this you or me? Let rip a loud, <laughs> prolonged fart while yelling as if to underscore his point. I'm farting! <laughs> the room, apparently stunned, was unsure if Deckert was, quote, farting at Hayden Guest personally or at the very notion of global warming. All the while, the intended star of the show, Kennedy, was quietly observing the whole situation, maintaining a, quote, steady composure in the face of the crisis. When reached for comment, page six reports Deckert, the guy who did the farting, said, quote, I, ap I apologize. <laughs> Go on, Jim. I apologize for using my flatulence as a medium of public commentary in your presence. He also apparently made an odd request of the outlet when writing their story. Refer to me as a gallivanting boulevardier or a beer fueled sex rocket. <laughs> that's all the time we have, I'm being told. Back to you, Jim. And that concludes Final Five Theater.